if we, if we think of balancer as having a lot of different tokens and giving different weights, the idea of curve is similar, but instead of X, Y, Z being different tokens, so X could be die or in the picnic basket. In the picnic basket for balancer, you have wine, cheese, and ham, or wine, cheese, and bread. In curve's picnic basket, it works the same way, but in curve's picnic basket, they are all similar assets. So this curve's picnic basket has got cheese. So you have you know, camembert cheese, brie cheese, um, cauda cheese. You have different kind of cheese that is in there. But at the end of the day, they're all cheese. So in the DeFi, DeFi language, it means that all of them represent a very similar asset. So it could be, it could be um, USDT, USDC, true USD, um, DAI, and synthetic USD. All of them in this USD picnic basket. And that's managed by Curve. So Curve basically does similar stuff as Bancor, but the difference is that they only trade stable, they only trade um, assets with almost similar or same valuation. So you basically just want to trade between assets. So if I have USDT, I don't want USDT, I want DAI. So I can go to Curve, go to the picnic basket in Curve and say, okay, I'll give you USDT and give me your DAI. So that's what it does. Why is it good? It's good because it has low slippage. Once again, another technical another technical episode. So if you want to understand what what is low slippage, how to reduce slippage fees or slippage pricing in the modeling, let me know so I can do one for you. But I realized that I will not throw too much math in your face because you didn't ask for it. And I'm not going to confuse you further. Just want you to understand how things work. Just having a conceptual understanding. So this works well for this works very well for stablecoin. Now Curve hasn't released its white paper yet. It showed a little bit of what of the, the master math that it has, but it's going to be edited because of some, you know, the I not equals J part. It's a bit of, of bug with which they have fixed, but they have not released it yet. So once again, you have token X, token Y, token Z, and then the curve just shows the relationship. So that curve function, that the, that's the rule. So when there's any trade happening, then the robot will know that, okay, no matter what I do, I have to follow the rule, I have to follow the curve, I have to have a new, a new point on the curve based on the new ratio in this, in this picnic basket. In curve, the invariant is defined in that way. And what does it mean? It means that this, this rainbow curve that we see over here, that's the rule that the robot has to play by. So when I deposit USDT into this, this uh, USD picnic basket, and I take out die, then it, it understands, okay, so that means, you know, for one of the X's, there is less in it, less quantity, but the other token increase in quantity. So now where do I pinpoint this new, new intersection on this rainbow curve to show the relationship of the value of all the tokens in the curve? It's quite similar to balancer. There's differences in the, in the math model, but we're not here to deep dive into the different math models. We're here to understand the, the conceptual, conceptualize what all these math means, all these different aspects mean. 